can you think of anything related to your fingerprints and pineapples? Well, they get, they get, they, it's quite spiky. <laughs> they are spiky, that's true. The pineapple I was watching QI one evening, evening when Stephen Fry said something that really caught my attention. <laughs> it has an enzyme, uh, which is called bromelain, and bromelain actually erases and destroys the fingerprints of people who work with pineapples. It was used as a plot point in an episode of Hawaii Five-0, would you believe? So if I left my fingers in a, in a tin of um, pineapple rings overnight, <laughs> I, would, I could become a master criminal by morning. <laughs> Perfectly possible. So I went to my local supermarket and bought a pineapple and four pints of milk. Uh, the milk wasn't anything to do with the experiment, I'd just run out of milk. My plan was simple. According to what I've read, most of the bromelain is in the stem. So I'm going to cut off the top, slice off the spiny bit on the outside, and put the rest of it in here and grind it into a kind of a paste that I can put on my fingers. Bloody terrible knife. It was a bloody terrible knife. Never buy Tesco value knives. <laughs> the pineapple goo wasn't particularly appealing. <laughs> that really doesn't look nice. Twice a day, I'm going to dip my fingers into this goo, and then after a few minutes of letting uh, steep, I'm going to scrub them with, uh, with this pineapple. Tentatively, I put my fingers in the goo. It was unpleasant. Ew. I think it's just my brain making it up, but my, my skin feels tight. Uh, it's starting to sting a little. After waiting a bit more for the digestion to happen, I scoured my fingers on the pineapple for a good 15 minutes and did the same again the day after. Twice. Got some sore patches came up on a couple of my fingers last night, but I think everything's pretty much okay. Um, so I'm gonna put them in the pineapple again, watch some TV and see what happens. That's actually really nice. It's been in the fridge. Okay, uh, it's been half an hour. I'm gonna try scouring. I'm not really looking forward to this because last time was a little painful. Uh, I've switched to using a dish scourer because um, the pineapple out of it doesn't keep that well in the fridge. So um, let's, uh, let's give this a try. It hurt. 20 minutes later, just finished and washed my hands, and um, for the first time I'm starting to think this may actually really not be a good idea. My fingertips were permanently red. I'd taken off the first layers of my skin, roughly equivalent to first degree burns. <laughs> Honestly, in, uh, in quite a lot of pain. It's making me slightly irritable as well. It's making me annoyed. I spilled pasta all over the place, but I'm, I'm swearing and cursing. I'm not normally that bad. And they're stinging pretty much constantly, like like I've been hit by a, a pile of nettles. And that's from just holding them in midair. If, if I actually touch anything, like like press a key on a keyboard or or do anything, it sends a real shot of pain through. So I think I've done too much too fast. I'm going to scrub once a day from now on when I'm going to bed, so it's got time to heal overnight, and so I'm not completely messed up for the whole day. On day eight, I had a new pineapple, and things seemed a bit better. So far. They're just cracked, really cracked. Like, hopefully it's going to be okay. Still a bloody terrible knife. But then things took a turn for the worse. At 4 a.m. on day 13, I gingerly set up my camera. There's someone holding a lighter to every one of my fingers, and if I touch anything, or if 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 the if the sheets on the bed um, rub against my fingers, it, it wakes me up again, and um, I, I, I need sleep. The next day, I met someone who told me about a man who tried to remove his fingerprints before me, and, at last, I decided to stop. John Dillinger, seen here in an FBI file photo, was a bank robber during the Great Depression. In a 1935 article from the Journal of Criminal Law and Criminology, Professor Harold Cummins, the father of modern fingerprint science, describes how Dillinger applied acid to his fingertips. It didn't work, it mutilated him and no doubt caused him tremendous pain, but the fingerprints weren't badly damaged, they just healed. It turns out that to actually destroy your fingerprints, you have to go down to a depth of about one millimetre. That's deep enough you'd need a skin graft. So. Fingerprints can't be removed with pineapple. There's only one way to actually do it. Ah! Ah! Ah, no, I'm, I'm just...
just kidding, that's not actually happening.